What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mars Ben here, and today we are doing a crew review of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And in this video, me and the rest of the Mars Ben crew are going to give the good, the bad, and our final verdicts on how we feel about the game. And guys, honestly, this has been just a really fun experience. We've all played Tears of the Kingdom. We all had a lot of hours put in already, and we've all played Breath of the Wild. So we always had, we already have that like that context about what a good Legend of Zelda game is. And now we're jumping into the sequel. And honestly, this game has just been extremely just well received. It's already broken the record for the fastest selling Legend of Zelda game in history, which is already a major accomplishment. But I want to start off with talking about the good. And obviously, when you think about, you know, Legend of Zelda, they've always been a top tier game. I've never heard of a bad Legend of Zelda game in my experience. I played multiple, whether it's on the you know, Game Boy Advance or the, D the 3DS or DS all the way to the N64 and beyond to today. I've played as many, me and, me and Frank have played as many Legend of Zelda games out there. I never played a bad one. Um, uh, and I th honestly, when I'm looking at this game, I think when I look at the map overall, I think it's probably the most impressive thing to me because one of the biggest things I looked at for this game that I thought that it, it might not match the, the predecessor, it might not match Breath of the Wild, was when you look at the map, a lot of people were saying that this was going to be a continuation or the same map because you're, you're still fighting in Hyrule. And right from the very beginning, I said that in order for this game to really progress and even just continue this good trend, it needed to develop a upper levels and lower levels. And it did that. It honestly matched what I wanted, where it included not just a kind of a Sky Islands like it was in Skyward Sword, but it created an entire underground that is vast. It's massive when you really look at it. And there's so much to explore in the game. And even on top of that, there's dungeons, which gets people excited because that was one of the biggest flaws of Breath of the Wild. And I say flaw because there's not really many of them. Um, but this game kind of took what Breath of the Wild did and said, we're going to add more to this map. And it just makes it feel so different. It, it doesn't feel like the same map. Like You can play Breath of the Wild, then you play this, and you're like, they feel completely different. And I really think that they've done such a good job in the, uh, the, the map storytelling, what you can see in this map, and what there's so much available for you to do. And I think that is such a, a great thing that this game has done. But I want to jump to you guys next. What is your good? So let's start off with Franklin Jellico. What do you think? What's your good here? Yeah, listen, I think the map is another good one, but you have to go with gameplay, right? Gameplay has been so... They, they've improved the gameplay from Breath of the Wild to this game, and that's with the new abilities, whether it's Fuse, whether it's Ultra Hand, whether it's the Ascend. You know, they have such... Uh, it creates such creativity for the player. And, you know, we've kind of talked on the side is like something that Haki would have done would have been something different than I did and what different than Mars did. Like we attack different levels and different things, different ways because of these abilities. And I think they've improved the gameplay of from Breath of the Wild to Tears of the Kingdom. So it is a big plus gameplay wise. And I do think, again, when you have a vast world that it does and it gives you you creativity, it really immerses you. And I haven't felt this immersed in a game since Elden Ring of last year. Yeah, man. I, and Haki, what's your biggest thing that you saw that was a good year? Yeah, so uh, I'm going to uh, point to the exploration that you're able to do in this game. I mean, it is one of the uh, best open world games, and we saw it in Breath of the Wild, um, you know, how kind of deep you can get into the game, you know, 100 plus hours easily, and this one's definitely going to hit that mark as well, but um, you're never really bored. I mean, there's so much to do, whether you're just exploring, you're doing a side mission, uh, or going with the main story. Uh, it's, it's very in-depth. Um, and it kind of keeps you connected to the game and the storytelling as well with the cutscenes, uh, very, very good. So uh, a lot of positives here. Yeah, I mean, you kind of nailed it on the exploration and the fact that the side, and I really love the, the implementation of the characters. I'm not, I'm not gonna do any spoilers here or anything, but the side characters and the stories that go along with them, I thought they did a great job with how they kind of developed this game. Now, this might be a really tough thing for us to do, but we have to now talk about the bad and there's not a lot of bad things that you kind of have here. I mean, I'll kind of talk about one of them, and I think it's honestly the the items break probably faster than they did in Breath of the Wild, which was surprising because even when you have abilities like Fuse where you can meld in two different items or weapons together, it still didn't fix the problem. I mean, granted, I understand that, you know, the Breath of the Wild was a survival game, 
and so is tears of the kingdom so you have to be you know smart with how you utilize different weapons in certain situations but i always thought that hey having the ability to fuse and make your weapon stronger might make it more durable and they're literally they it doesn't it doesn't actually change anything about its durability um in a lot of ways so and uh, granted it's not necessarily the worst thing out there because i understand the point of it but part of me is like it feels like it breaks work easier than it used to be and i was like confused on how or why they they didn't even make that adjustment at all but eh, i mean that whatever it's it works for the game i just me personally i wish they kind of made it have more durability some of these weapons but Haki, I'll go to you next. What's your negative? What's the bad that you see in this game? Yeah, so this is going to follow from Breath of the Wild, at least for me, and I'm, I'm sure for other people as well. But I just find it very tedious, uh, you know, gathering food and, and cooking food. Um, I, I understand why to do it. You know, if you're going to a snow level and you need to make sure your stamina is up or, you know, there's reasons to do it. And, uh, you know, it's a cool implement a cool part of the game but it was just very tedious in breath of the wild and the same thing here um you know people give you clothes or you buy clothes with money or anything like that uh that's okay but the constant cooking of food and 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 that type of usage is just a little tedious to me yeah so uh Langelica, what do you think is the negative that you see with this game yeah i think the durability of the weapons i think is the number one for me um it just they can't find a sweet spot it feels like even when you do these views you create these great weapons and it feels like if you have one vast fight that it's already on the brink of being destroyed right and so sometimes you create these great weapons and you kind of put it in your back pocket and because you, you don't want to use it because you don't want it to break so but my second one and we have to talk i mean this is just the obvious thing this game has been extremely impressive but it's also shown the age of the switch and how you know it doesn't it feels like it runs like an old game and it, it does look beautiful it does look good i mean people talk about the graphics i i don't see the graphic issues but at times when especially when you're using some of your abilities you can see the frame rates dropping and it does feel like it's slow and laggy um and a little bit blurry at times so it definitely feels like hey you know the developers of legend of zelda and hopefully even more the developers of mario they need an upgraded device so come on nintendo let's get Let's get a little bit closer to next gen. I mean, uh, all the signs are pointing to what next April. Yeah. That's what it seems like. Uh, not this April, the uh, following April. So let, with that being said, let's jump into our final verdicts, where we're going to give our official ratings of what we would give this game. And I'll go first. I mean, when you look at this game, it does a lot of things that honestly are better than what Breath of the Wild is. And Breath of the Wild was a game of the year winner. And, you know, that is such an impressive thing to do. When you look at a game that's supposed to be a successor, it's really difficult to match a, you know, a top level game. But Tears of the Kingdom did, and they matched it in the gameplay and the exploration, the dungeons included the art style, the characters, and, and I, I really love the music. Like They added a lot more tunes in this game compared to what they did in Breath of the Wild, which was more about like that kind of just few piano hits that just so showed you nature. But they started having tunes with the levels and even the certain areas in the map, which I was like, damn, it, you got to go back to that again, because that's what Legend of Zelda always used to have some slamming tracks. And when I look at this game, I'm going to give it a 9.8. I think this is one of the top level games I've played in years. I mean, if you put this in the even last year's contenders with God of War and Elden Ring, it might even pull away as being one of the ones that win over Elden Ring and God of War because of how good it does a lot of these mechanics. Now, I would say the negative of the frame rate problem and the the items breaking, you know, some of those little things, right? Th those things are little in comparison to what how great this game really is. And when you, it just shows you how much people are butthurt over this when they start to complain about the little tiniest things to bring about it like for example you have the both fanboy fanboy races on the both sides saying oh the nintendo this game is horrible whether it's the the frame rate problems from the xbox fanboy saying you can't compare this to frame rate because redfall has a 30 fps and you know that game it should be definitely given a lot better rating or the sony fanboys who can't comprehend the idea that there's a game outside of sony that can be very good and even say well the art style like david jaffe is saying oh the art style of this game is 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 so subpar how could anyone love this thing if it's not i can't see the peach fuzz on link's face right but you have to understand you can take away the art style and frame rates and this game is still better than anything we've seen this year easily so it's just it's just that kind of mentality this game breaks them old and it kind of it really makes everyone else look inferior even if a lower frame rate and on us old a five-year console a five-year plus console 
it still looks plays better than most games I've seen in in years, essentially. So I think this game is a legendary title. I'm going to be jumping into that in a future video. So definitely go check that out. But I, in my opinion, this is a top level game. I'm really excited to see, you know, what happens down the line for this game of the year possibility. But I want to go through each of you next. What's your final ratings? Let's go and jelly kill. What do you think overall? I agree with you. I think this is an elite game. I think this is a better game than Breath of the Wild. Um, I had Breath of the Wild at a, at a 9.6. I had this at a 9.7. I think this is a front runner for game of the year as we currently stand. Obviously, it's sold like crazy, but the gameplay and the creativity and this world really immerses you, and it doesn't feel like Haki said. You don't feel bored playing it, and you have 50. It's around 50 hours for the main missions, 100 hours for completion, and I feel like I'm going to be going way over 100 hours, and that's what video games are about. Yes, we talk about frame rates, we talk about graphics, but at the end of the day, if you do other things exceptionally well, you look past the frame rates, you look past the graphics, and that's what this game does. It immerses you in the game with its gameplay, its storytelling, and its charm, and I think this is an elite game. Haki, what do you think? What's your final rating on this? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much right with you guys. I'm at a 9.5. Uh, this is probably the best game that I've played since Elden Ring. I, you know, I had high hopes for uh, Redfall, but we all know how that went. I never thought that was going to make it anywhere near, but uh, this game definitely stands out. Uh, you know, pretty much everything you guys said, uh, as well as um, that, that real exploration. Um, and, you know, the scavenging could get a little tedious for me. But other than that, I mean, exploration, story, the cutscene, I mean, all those things are... are you know, amazing, and, and not a lot of games are going to be able to touch this one. So we'll see, uh, you know, with, with some of the games that are going to be coming out later in the year, but this one is really up there, and it's going to be hard to touch. Appreciate everyone who came up to watch. What do you think about Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And obviously, if you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. If you want to see some more reviews that we've had on other top-level games or low-level games like Redfall, go check out our video on our channel, <laughs> why is Redfall so disappointing? And uh, it's it's a, it's a fun, funny one to do, kind of watch because of how gross that game is. But a lot of other uh, videos on our channel, like other types of reviews and opinion pieces, go check that out. But until next time, this is Mars Band signing off. Peace out, guys. <laughs>